have 700 subscribers? That wasn't nearly intense enough. 700 subscribers! Yeah, I think that worked. Bob, Bob, and Bob. There's Bob the mouse, and Bob the bird, and the turtle. Simon James Alexander Ragsdale the third. Recognize 700 subscriber mark. Check. Asked you guys to tell me things that reminded you of your childhood. As usual, Bobtopia, you've truly outdone yourselves. I applaud you. I applaud you! Many of your responses reminded me of being a child. Sky dancers, eating dry cereal, tattoo jewelry, gel pens. And many of them were more personal and made me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Yay you! London Tipton. Too much Disney Channel. Ow. That kind of hurt actually. Probably should have kept my jaw closed for that. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Sorry. I'll put that away. I began thinking about my own childhood in greater detail, and I remembered several very specific, very awkward moments. Since Bobtopia has been growing in strength and awesomeness by the day, I feel like you guys have earned these stories. And so, a new I Answer to Bob series is about to be born. This is the part where we all pretend I have that iMovie sound effect of little kids' voices going, Yay! Even though I clearly don't. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Uh, um, uh, aw awkward story time with Kira, or Ustawaka, for short. When I was about seven or eight years old, my school class was putting on a play around Thanksgiving time. There were no speaking roles for the students. Our teacher was just narrating, and we just had to act out what she was narrating. So, sounds pretty foolproof, right? The only thing we were really in charge of was finding our own costumes so that we could look like pilgrims on stage. Here I must stop and emphasize two things. Thing one, this is what a pilgrim looks like. Thing two, my elementary school is in Utah. I emphasize the second thing because here in Utah, much of our historical education is focused upon the Mormon pioneers because they're the people who settled this entire state. History classes were pretty much always like, the pioneers did this, the pioneers did that. Also, we played a heck of a lot of Oregon Trail in our computer class in elementary school. Plus, I'd hear about the pioneers at church and at home because some of my ancestors are Mormon pioneers. Let's just say that the word pioneer was pretty much drilled into my brain all the time. I'm sorry for the awkward lighting situation, but it will just add to the awkward that is the entire story. Story, I suppose. Here I must emphasize a third thing. This is what a pioneer looks like. So here's little Kira who's heard a heck ton more about pioneers than she has about pilgrims and pretty much believes they're the exact same thing anyway at this point. So she, I, come home from school and tell my mom that I need a pioneer costume for the school play. And so we find one. There was no dress rehearsal for our one and only performance of this school play, so we all show up for the performance and see each other's costumes for the first time, and I quickly begin to realize that something seems to be wrong. I'm wearing this, while everyone else is wearing this. My teacher glared at me, and I was promptly relocated to the back row. And that's the story of how I learned that pilgrims and pioneers are not the exact same thing. It was awkward. The end. I didn't post a video here last week because I posted a video on my super secret, but not really, side channel where I watched and provided mocking commentary on New Moon. A link to said video will be placed in the description box. Warning, snarky comments are likely to abound. So only click the link if you're interested in watching me bombard New Moon with mocking commentary and impersonations for several minutes. While I'm linking things, I might as well tell you to follow me on Twitter and Daily Booth, too. Follow me on Twitter and Daily Booth. And please feel free to leave a comment telling me an awkward story. Okay, thanks, bye.